In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you should not be packing in your carry-on luggage. All the things we're going to be talking about in this video will hopefully save you a ton of time and energy and stress when making your way through security at the airport. Whether you're somebody that travels all the time or you're somebody that doesn't travel very much, I hope this video is a great reminder for things that you should not be putting in your carry-on luggage. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video as I'm also going to share some of the kind of crazy stories of what TSA agents have found in people's carry-ons trying to get through security. Some of them are kind of ridiculous and make you feel a little bit better when you make a mistake yourself. But anyway, let's get into the video. Now, it is very rare that Meg and I ever check a bag. We are usually always doing a carry-on. We will usually have a personal backpack and then our carry-on luggage, which we have a carry-on luggage from a company called Away, a nice hard shell. We really like it. It really works for us. Anyway, that's beside the point. The point is that anytime we are traveling, we are always thinking about these things that I'm about to talk about every single time we're packing. And whenever you're packing, you always want to pack with a game plan and a strategy in mind because it'll always save you time, stress, and energy in the long run. And usually, the first thing we think about when packing our carry-on luggage is liquids. How can we pack our liquids in a way that's going to get us through security? Now, TSA has made a rule for this. Though it's made to be super easy, it can still be kind of confusing. And the TSA uses a 3-1-1 rule. And we actually made a whole video about this rule itself and how to pack your toiletries and liquids. So if you want more details about this rule, I would highly recommend watching that video. Meg made it. It's a great video. I'll make sure to link it maybe on top of the screen or below. Make sure to give that video a watch if you want more details. But essentially what the 3 one one rule is, is you get 3.4 ounces per container of liquid and they needs to fit into one quart sized clear bag and you get one per traveler. Now, if your liquids fall within that 311 parameter, you should be good to go for packing it in your carry-on. If it's bigger than that, it's going to get stopped at security. Now, there are still questions that come up with this rule, and one that I see most often that I'm going to mention really quick is what if the liquid that is left in the container is less than the 3.4 ounces, but the container is bigger? For example, I have a Gatorade here. It's mostly gone. Now, there's probably less than 3.4 ounces in here, but the container is bigger. Can I still bring it through? And the answer is no. TSA is going to go off of whatever the container says on the label. Same goes for things like toothpaste. So just make sure that even if your container has less liquid than 3.4 ounces, if the container says more than 3.4 ounces, it's going to get stopped. So just keep that in mind. The next thing you're going to want to avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is liquid foods. This one can kind of be confusing as well. I know it's confusing for me because you start losing track of what's a liquid and what's not a liquid. So it's best to probably just show you some examples. So one example of a liquid food would be something like this. Honey. Honey is a liquid food. It has kind of that gel liquid consistency. It's going to be a no-go for TSA security. It's going to get taken away. Unfortunately, another one that really kind of kills me but is going to get taken away and that is peanut butter. You can't bring peanut butter and jelly, I guess, through security. It will get taken away. So make sure that when you're packing your luggage, take note of any food that you're bringing on. For me personally, I usually just try to stick with like granola bars and just like solids, solid foods. If I'm confused about it at all, I usually just don't bring it to avoid the issue. So make sure that you're not packing any liquid foods in your carry-on. The next thing I would avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is powders. Different from liquids or liquid foods, powders are technically completely legal to bring through security. But I will say, bring them through at your own risk. Because if you bring more than 12 ounces of powder through security, you will be subject to extra screening and testing. And Meg and I have definitely found this to be true. 
and it just makes the security process a lot slower. For those of you that don't know or maybe are a little bit newer to our channel, Meg and I love to work out when we travel and with that we like to bring protein powder and creatine powder. That is kind of just a luxury for us when we travel, it's one of our luxury items. But recently, we haven't been traveling with it because of the toll it takes on us getting through security. It just slows everything down. Now, if you're somebody that's like, hey, I'm only packing a carry-on and I really need to bring my powders through, what I would recommend is making sure that you bring it in a bottle that's clearly labeled so that way security knows what it is. And other than that, if you plan to bring powders through security, I would just recommend not and putting it in your checked bag or just not bringing it at all. It just creates a lot more issues than you need. So just be conscious if you plan to pack powders, maybe pack them in your checked bag. The next thing you're gonna wanna avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is weapons. Now, it's kinda funny to say, and it may seem kinda obvious, which it is, but it is a mistake that is still made quite often. I've actually seen this mistake made by completely innocent and harmless people, and it's just something that happens from time to time. Ideally, it doesn't, but if you're aware of it, it shouldn't happen. Now, obviously, you can't bring guns and swords and knives on a plane, but it does happen. For example, say you're gearing up for a camping trip or a fishing trip. You're getting your bag doll packed, you got your sleeping bag, you got your tent, you got your cookware, and you throw in a knife for cooking. You get, through, you get to security and then you realize you're like, dang it, I forgot, I packed a knife in my backpack. Now, your intentions were fine, they weren't bad intentions, but it's something that can happen. So just be well aware that you make sure that you don't pack any weapons in your bag, though it may seem obvious, Completely innocent people have made this mistake before. I've seen it done, so make sure you're not that person. The next thing you're gonna wanna avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is things like tools and household items. Very similar to weapons, it may seem kind of obvious, but it's a mistake that anyone can make. For example, you're gonna wanna avoid packing things like a screwdriver or a hammer or a pliers. Maybe even household appliances like a blender those are things that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think about as being an issue or causing any sort of harm, but they are things that are gonna get stopped at security. So make sure those things don't make their way into your suitcase. The next thing you're gonna wanna avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is sports equipment. Certain sports equipment. The reason I say this is because not everything is bad to go through security, but things like golf clubs, hockey sticks, ski poles, really anything that's not gonna fit in your, in your carry-on bag and or could be used as a weapon should be put in your checked baggage. All of these things that I've just mentioned may seem obvious, but something that can be easily forgotten if you're just not thinking about the logistics of travel. So just make sure that whenever you're packing just a carry-on bag, Think about the process of going through security, right? I need to take off my shoes, I need to take out my electronics, right? And if taking out a golf club doesn't fit in that scenario in your head, it probably means that it can't go through security, so you should probably check it. The next thing you're gonna wanna avoid packing in your carry-on luggage is flammables. Now this is a very broad term, so if you're confused at all about if your thing that you plan to bring falls under flammables, you should look it up. But some examples are things like a lighter, anything with like gas, aerosol cans, hairspray, certain batteries, anything that can start on fire is gonna get stopped at security and you shouldn't put it in your carry-on luggage. Remember, we're all gonna make mistakes while traveling, but the goal is just not to make any of these mistakes. It's gonna make your travel day a lot less stressful and a lot easier if you don't make these mistakes when packing your carry-on. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up, it's much appreciated. Now, let's get into some of those items that TSA has found that just blow my mind. And also, it'll maybe make us feel a little bit better that if we do make a mistake, it won't be quite this bad. So, I found this article from businessinsider.com 
that goes through 20 things that TSA security has found that just absolutely blow my mind and definitely make me feel a lot better about mistakes that I have made in the past when packing my carry-on. The first one being a fully fueled chainsaw. Somebody put a full chainsaw in their carry-on. Not sure what the plan was there, but again, maybe there was no um, harmful intention in mind. It was just maybe something that slipped their brain and they just forgot. That's what I hope anyway. But anyway, a chainsaw. Next, snakes and turtles. Reptiles were packed in a carry-on. Now that's obviously a big, big no-no. That is something that you're for sure gonna wanna avoid. The next one is two full propane tanks. Now I'm not just talking about two small little propane tanks. I'm talking about these big boys that go underneath your grill. Yeah, somebody tried to bring those through security. I'm pretty sure that is like the definition of a flammable item. The next one, fireworks. Again, come on people, fireworks. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely can't bring fireworks on a plane. I'm not sure that you can bring fireworks on basically any public transport, but for sure not through security at an airport. So definitely for future reference, keep your fireworks at home. <laughs> The last one kind of blows my mind too, and it was a model of an explosive device. I'm not really sure what their intention was there because it doesn't really function as an explosive device, but it just looks like one. So um, that's definitely a no-no and something you're going to want to avoid when uh, packing your carry-on. These were just kind of fun to look at because... It's crazy how easily things can slip your mind, or it's just crazy how people think they can get away with some of this stuff. All jokes aside, if you are concerned or have questions about a specific item or thing that you plan to pack in your carry-on bag, and you're unsure if it can make its way through security, TSA has made a great service to answer all of those questions. It's called Ask TSA, and you can go on either Facebook or through text message or through Twitter or X or whatever it's called these days and ask a specific question to see if that item will make it through security. It can be a great way to build confidence with the security process to make sure you don't have any items in your suitcase that are going to set off a red flag. I hope this video was a great reminder for things that you should not be packing in your carry-on luggage. Though most of these things are simple, they can be an easy mistake to make. If you wanna continue on your journey in making less mistakes while traveling, specifically in the TSA line, we made a video about mistakes to avoid in the TSA line. And it goes through a lot more detail of how you should be packing, what you should wear, and just generally things to avoid in the security line to make your process a lot easier and smoother and faster. So I would highly recommend giving that video a watch. If you enjoyed this video though, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We will see you in the next video.